you know, we played that montage at the beginning here, David. Um, someone who is notably, notably absent from defending Trump in this is, of course, Governor Ron DeSantis, right? I mean, he weighed in on all of this for the first time today. I want to play what he said for our viewers, and then we'll chat. I don't know what goes into paying hush money to a porn star to, to secure silence over some type of alleged affair. I just, I can't speak to that. But what I can speak to is that if you have a prosecutor who is ignoring crimes happening every single day in his jurisdiction, and he chooses to go back many, many years ago uh, to try to use something about porn star hush money payments, you know, that's an example of pursuing a political agenda and weaponizing the office. So what does it say, David, that Governor DeSantis went out of his way to go after the district attorney but chose not to defend Trump's alleged actions and poked fun at the situation that Trump has found himself in? It, it tells me he's running for president. That's what it tells me. <laughs> um, and, uh, and look, I think his message probably resonates with lots of uh, Americans who are tuning in and watching this. So looking at um, shoplifting and crime, they're hearing about people being assaulted in the city and, and being let free. Um, in, in, in New York City, and yet they see the district attorney now going and judging up these seven-year-old charges. And I think that's the point that Governor DeSantis is trying to make, and I think that, would re that resonates with, uh, with a lot of Republican voters, not so much the, the pure Trump part of it, but the, the more political mm -hmm. nature of the entire prosecution. I think, I, think, I think Republicans view it as persecution, not prosecution. Well, Bragg's office said they just released a statement tonight saying under D.A. Bragg, homicides are down 32 percent in Manhattan, shootings are down 14 percent, and that they say New York remains one of the safest big cities in the U.S. Uh, so just pointing out that that is what uh, Bragg's office is saying tonight amid that criticism. Thank you so much, Dana Bash, Van Jones, David Urban. Thanks, thank Travis. you.